What is up everybody, Jester here, and today I'm back with another video aimed at helping you get all of the feats or badges unlocked in the long dark. Today, we're gonna be featuring one that I don't have and it's my final one, and that's fire starting. In this run in Voyager, I have 368 current fires. Now, I know that this is cumulative, so all your runs this will combine up, so I'm pretty sure I'm close. And since I have more matches than God at this point, I don't want them to go to waste if I should happen to die because I'm planning on doing something pretty dangerous down the road. So this is the perfect opportunity to get this fire mastery finished up. To do that, it took a little bit of prep work though. And that prep work involves picking up sticks. Kind of like I told you in the last video, the rabbit snares, I'll put a, a card for that in the top right corner. Now, what I did was just kind of go out, break down all of these uh, bigger sticks for small sticks usually using my hands so that we didn't take durability off of the hatchet. You could use the hatchet and save five minutes, but then you're using that up. And then we would pick up all the small sticks we would see. If there happened to be a blizzard, I could go back to the same areas, pick up more sticks. If we didn't get a blizzard, I would go to a new area and try to find even more sticks. And uh, this is basically just how my days went for about two or three days. Uh, that's all I did was just back and forth and back and forth carrying sticks to and fro, trying to get myself set up to get this accomplished. If anybody was wondering what a pile of 513 sticks neatly stacked looks like, that's that's it. That is 513 sticks, and I have about 95 more on me. If we need to go back out for more, we will, but this should get us to 1,000 based on the other runs that I've done. Another thing that you should pay attention to here is if you have a magnifying lens, you can use this on a good clear day to start fires in lieu of matches. So definitely something to think about if you don't have the matches to spare Grab your mag lens and use that. Now, another big point in this is if you are not to at least fire starting three, I wouldn't even attempt this. For me to get to fire starting five, I wrapped my entire house here at Pleasant Valley in campfires and then just kept starting them until I got fire starting five. That gives me a really good chance. With a stick, I'm a 100% chance of success. So there is zero wasted matches, zero wasted anything. But if you are less than fire starting three, you will need tender. So you might want to get at least above three before you start kind of working on this in earnest if you choose to do it this way. Having done this method to get myself to fire starting five on a couple of different runs, I know there's a risk of things locking up and it's probably because the fires, there's too many of them and the assets just don't want to run them. It could just be a graphical bug. But to counter this every five or 10 fires or so, I would step inside a door to create a save and then I would go back out and keep working. This way, you're only gonna lose a small amount of progress if the game happens to lock up like it does here. And uh, this this happens, and it usually happens, to me it was about the 15 or 20 fire mark, and uh, it would just happen almost every time. And again, I think this is probably asset based, or it could just be a small graphical bug, but um, this happened and you wanna protect yourself from losing your progress. In order to fix this problem, what you need to do is actually log completely out of the game, shut it all the way down, start all the way back from the main screen, get yourself back in the game, and then it should work again for that 15 or 20 or 25 fires. But again, I highly, highly recommend that you protect yourself by saving about every five or 10 fires. This will keep you from too much trouble. With those pitfalls now resolved, we could really just focus in on going and going and going. And I'm gonna tell you this straight out. I'm a very much goal-based person. I think when someone puts their mind to something and really focuses, these goals are very achievable. You don't have to do it this way. You can get it just by playing the game over and over, over a long time. I wanted to get it done because it was my last one. And if you guys wanna see me play this game over on Twitch, the link for that's in the description. Go over there and check it out, follows are free. And uh, magically, what happened on Twitch was awesome that night. Well, we got it. We, we had way more fire than I thought we had. Oh my God, we're done. Oh my God, we're done. Oh, we're done. We've started a thousand fires, bro. Yes. There's no way. There's just no way. After reaching this goal of a thousand fires, from now on, all your survivors start with a level three fire starting skill, meaning you will never need tender again in the long dark. And to me, that's pretty cool if you have this active. As we close out this video, I do wanna make a couple of quick points. This game's been around for a long while and I'm still relatively new to it. So I play on the Voyager difficulty and I know there's people that are showing you how to survive on the much higher difficulties and I have nothing but respect for them. Heck, I watch quite a few of them myself. And uh, those are excellent, excellent tutorials. 
my stuff i'm kind of aiming at newer players to help them get over the hump of these goals and be able to have these feats for starting new runs and make it even more exciting as you learn and get better and try the tougher difficulties if you're into that like the video subscribe to the channel and go over and follow on twitch it's all free and it's a good time but until next time guys we'll see you soon bye